Thank you very much. Uh, it's a great privilege to be here. Uh, Professor Inouye, I'm supposed to debate you, and uh, it's really hard to debate that uh, you have perfected a technique that's really, truly the first really good notes therapy uh, in the world. And I, I conclude that, uh, you know, I, I really can't compete against that video that you just showed about adding the fundoplication because that's in essence uh, some of my uh, discussion here today. But I'm gonna take the point of view that a laparoscopic Heller myotomy plus fundoplication, and I use the door fundoplication, is the treatment of choice. So, in treating achalasia, BMI matters, okay? And I'll get back to that because I think our third speaker talked about how POEM was the best treatment of choice and GERD wasn't a problem in Japan. Okay? <laughs> so, what am I going to tell you? POEM, or Heller alone, predisposes to GERD. Heller plus door has been shown to limit esophageal acid exposure. Heller, laparoscopic Heller, allows correction of the hiatal hernia. And even Professor Inouye hasn't created a uh, notes therapy for creation of the hiatal hernia repair. And long-term data, and long-term data, okay, is greater than five years. And we've got now 12-year data off our randomized study. Oh, sorry, backwards. Okay, mechanisms to GERD. Obviously, if you divide the LES and reduce LES pressure, that's going to affect more reflux. Also, the sliding hiatal hernia is a significant contributor to reflux, and we know that you have to repair the hiatal hernia if you're going to do an effective anal reflux procedure. Finally, in achalasia, clearance of hydrochloric acid in the esophagus is critical to the effectiveness of the procedure. In other words, the aperistalsis in the achalasia prevents clearance of the hydrochloric acid, okay? What does that mean? When the patients are supine, sleeping at night, that acid is bathing their esophagus for long periods of time, as you can see in this 24-hour pH study. In the dark and shaded in areas when the patient is supine, you can see that the acid exposure, they're not able to clear that acid. That means that acid is just burning the esophagus for hours at a time. We do have randomized controlled trials in Heller myotomy. This is one of them. This is a paper that I presented 14 years ago at the American Surgical. We did a door fundoplication. There you can see the Heller myotomy, and we do some sutures producing the door fundoplication in this uh, manner. And what did we find in this randomized level one study? Okay, we found that acid exposure in the recumbent position was significantly higher in the Heller alone. That means if you divide the LES and don't provide an effective anti-reflux procedure, you're gonna have a lot of acid exposure because you're not able to clear it and it occurs, okay? Acid episodes longer than five minutes. It's incredible how many more acid episodes are these long acid exposures in the esophagus. Finally, this is our final results. You know, what we did is the primary uh, treatment for this, and 48% of the patients undergoing Heller alone had pathologic acid exposure in their esophagus, compared to only 9% of the patients undergoing the Heller plus door in a randomized controlled trial. We concluded that the door fundoplication reduces post-op GERD after Heller myotomy. Relief of dysphagia was equal in both techniques, and we concluded that the Heller plus the door is the preferred procedure for treatment of achalasia. We have just followed that up. Um, Christy Kummerow uh, presented this at SAGES last year. We have 11.8 years of follow-up on this randomized trial. 96% of our patients would do it again, 96%. This is long-term data. Importantly, most re-interventions 
for the treatment of achalasia occurred more than five years post-op, okay? So again, we don't have enough long-term data. I would parenthetically say that I do not believe that POEM is experimental. I believe that should be the purview of the physician treating the patient to determine the proper, uh, you know, procedure to perform. And I just happen to think that it's the lap heller plus the uh, door fundification. So, Professor Inouye, we have different populations here. <laughs> Your populations are shown here on the left. And at the University of South Alabama, otherwise known as the USA, Okay, we have an obese, diabetic population with central obesity. I'm sorry, that's just what we're dealing with. Why, why does that matter? Well, I, I took three poem series, okay? The bottom one, Hungness, is uh, from the USA, and you can see that objective GERD was much higher. Treatment success was good. The Germans, you know, have a little bit less than the Americans, but the uh, your series has much, much less, okay? Dr. Hungness identified that hiatal hernia and BMI greater than 35 predict GERD after POEM. These are two significant things that we see a lot in the United States. 83% of his patients with hiatal hernia develop GERD. 63% with a BMI greater than 35 developed GERD. Limitations of POEM, POEM predisposes to GERD, no hiatal hernia repair, no long-term results greater than five years, and no A results not translatable to the USA population. Heller plus door, equal improvement in dysphagia, marked reduction in pathologic GERD, long-term results excellent. I conclude, lap Heller plus door, is a procedure of choice.